creating a discussion board in SharePoint 2016. The discussion board functionality allows your team to discuss topics and share information. It is best practice to create multiple discussion boards and dedicate each for a particular topic. It is easier to search and find discussion threads that are grouped by topic. Once a discussion board is created, every team member will be able to start new discussions and participate in existing ones. The functionality is used by different users for a multitude of purposes. You can set up a discussion board in a SharePoint site to share information and discussion topics with other people in your team. I will go ahead and go to Site Contents, and from there I'll click on Add an App, and I'm going to look for the discussion board, which is right here. I'll click on the discussion board template, name my list, Click on Create, and there it is, Team Discussion. To create a new discussion thread, click on New Discussion, and then type in the subject and body for the discussion. Once the information is in, click on Save, and that will start up a new discussion thread. Now people can take part in this discussion by replying to this thread, which makes it a nice, productive environment for having a discussion. To automate training and support for your team, install Visual SP, the plug and play, instant and contextual self-help system for SharePoint and Office 365. Over 1.5 million users in over 200 companies are using Visual SP to boost user adoption by over 30% while reducing the burden on their IT support teams. Using Visual SP step-by-step -step interactive guides. Give your colleagues the help they need exactly when they need it. Facilitate employee onboarding with always accessible tip sheets, annotated screenshots, step-by-step -step walkthroughs, and screen capture videos. Accelerate user adoption of your business workflows and improve productivity. To see how Visual SP works, request a free demo. Click the link below or go to visualsp.com.